to my channel. So I'm looking a bit busted right now and it's because I felt tanned last night and my face is like really dry. Um, so it's looking a bit a bit busted. I've got like mask and coming on. And yeah, that's the story of my life. <laughs> so today I really want to dive into the Weldy palette again. Um, I, I feel like I want to focus on this palette because it is such a beautiful palette. And I just want to show a lot of the colorways and a lot of the things that you can actually do with this palette, obviously without using any extras. So I do have a plan to do a couple of like really natural looks that you can do with this and also a really colorful look. Today I'm feeling a little bit colorful so that is what I, I think I'm going to try and focus on. Um, I don't really have a plan in mind. I'm just going to pick up a brush and see what we come up with. Um, but yeah, if you want to see what we create, keep on watching. So as always guys, just going in with my base shade 2. So I will be using other bases guys. Usually when I do do like a quite natural smoky eye look, I do, you know, I do like to use a base shade 3, so base shade 3 and other shades will be coming, contouring, concealing, all that good stuff. So yeah, bear me, with me with that. And of course, if you do want to see all of that, then make sure you are subscribed and you hit the notification bell to get notified, obviously, when I do upload. So I'm just going in with this base shade 2, guys, and this is a diverted to my blend brush. As always, if you do see anything that you like or that you, you know, love, um, you can use my discount code Adam Ashman 10 at checkout on the P. Louise website. And that will save you, I believe it's 10% um, and it'll save you 10% off all cosmetics, excluding sale items. Um, but it'll also get you 10% um, off courses as well. So if you if there's a course that you really want to, you know, look at, um, whether that be P. Louise Play. Um, so P. Louise Play is basically a subscription um, service. So every month they have different looks and um, you can learn different techniques. And it's just a really good way, you know, like say for me, just to keep on, just to keep up with, you know, P. Louise trends and products. So yeah, if you do want to check any of those out, then yeah, the code's there for you to use, guys. All right, guys, so I'm just going in with the shade Lounge, which is this beautiful orange shade. My mum started hoovering the floor downstairs, so I'm having to use my microphone. <laughs> And then I'm just taking the shade First Class, which is this amazing purple shade, and just blending those, um, just with like a fluffy brush, but really. And I'm just taking that shade out all the way to my temple, and then just making sure everything is blended. So I'm not taking my Jervalan this time, um, just because I really want to show off the power of using the P. Louise base on its own. Obviously, originally the base is and was an amazing, amazing coverage. Um, so yeah, I'm just showing you how it basically covers it. You don't have to use Jervalan or Vaseline every single time. But yeah, I'm just cutting my crease where, you know, I want to cut it. And I'm taking the um, diverted to my base brush and I'm just cutting it a little higher than I usually would. You can pretty much do whatever you sh whatever shape you want really. Um, so once you're happy with the shape, I'm moving on to the shade Weldy and I'm taking a dry, clean, diverted to my base brush. Now this is a technique that I've come across recently and this is just a really quicker way just to get like a really clean and crisp finish to your shadow um, and it, it just helps with cutting the shadow as well rather than going in with a fluffy brush if you use a brush like this it just helps with the shape and it just makes things a lot easier and um, so what i'm doing is i'm just like stamping the shadow into the base but i'm also wiggling the brush side to side as well just so it starts blending out a little bit and don't ask me what's going on with my hair. Um, I just got out of the shower and that's what's happening. <laughs> so then I'm just taking the um, P. Louise Base Shade 2 again. And I'm just literally going on top of that. And just starting to tidy it up and cut the shape out that I want again. 
like I said, you don't really need to use Duraline or Vaseline here. This is just, I'm just showing off how amazing the base is. You can layer it and layer it and it just never looks cakey. It's just really, really beautiful. I'm just making sure it's all tidied and pat -a pat pat patted in. So next up, I'm taking the shade Vacay, which is this beautiful, like, lamb, greeny, yellowy shade. It's a really nice, like, pastel shade. And I need to kind of steer away from this shade because I'm going to hit pan on this very, very soon because I'm obsessed with it. Um, but I'm just literally taking the same devoted to my base brush and just stamping that in until I get the pigment that I want. All right, guys, I can finally talk because my mother has stopped hoovering the floor. Um, so I'm just going to take some Gerbalan, which, as you all know, I love to, you know, cut my crease. Just gonna take that on a P. Louise brush from a paint set that I've got. And then I'm just gonna cut about here. Okay, so once that kind of looks like that, I'm gonna take one of the um, paint brushes that I got and I'm taking the paint, the metallic base in Your Glowing. I'm just gonna take a bit of Your Glowing and I'm just gonna start putting that right here. These metallic bases, guys, work best on like dry, dry clean lids so yeah when you're working with these paints guys you want little to no base on the lid and you want to use a little bit at a time and um, because they can get a little bit chunky and funky and it'll be really hard for them to set so you just want to work really slow and use minimal product and you'll find that you'll get your best the best finish that way you can just see how absolutely insanely reflective they are. The shade You're Glowing is by far my favourite. Like, look how reflective it is. It's just the best paint ever. It's absolutely amazing. It's the best one out of them all. All right, so next I'm going in with the shade San Francisco, which is this really beautiful deep blue. Um, and I'm just lining underneath with that. I'm taking it on like a really tiny peaches and cream brush. Um, and I'm just kind of creating like a triangle wing. Um, and then once I've done that, I'm going to go in with the shade J'adore Paris, which is this really beautiful blue shimmer shade. And I'm just starting to fill that in. Just so it all blends and like it's got a nice little shimmer. So then once I've done that, I'm just taking a little bit more of the metallic base and I'm just trying to blend that into the blue just so they create like a bit of an ombre effect. And I'm taking this P. Louise pigment called Sugar Daddy and I'm literally just going to put that right on top just to give it a little bit of an extra sparkle. I just took a makeup wipe and cleaned the underneath and now I'm going in with um, base shade 2 again. So then next up, I'm going into the shade The Alps and I'm just taking a really small peaches and cream blending brush and I'm just blending that into the blue. Um, and I'm just basically basically going to be working through all of the greens pretty much. So then I'm going to go into, I'm pretty sure it was the shade Baggage, which is like a neon green. And then I finally blend that out with the shade Vacay just to give it like an ombre effect. All right guys, I can finally talk once again. So as you can see, it's all coming together. I'm really loving how this looks. I just love days like this where I'm just taking the brushes and just blending and just seeing what works together. I feel it's just really, really like elevating for me. I'm actually going to use this shade because I've never used this shade yet. This is the crisp finish pin in the shade Sexy Chili. And I'm gonna put that in my waterline. So I'm just taking a MAC brush. This is, um, I can't remember what number this is because it's like, I've had it for years, I've had it for years now and it's all like busted. But I'm just taking a MAC angled brush. Someone in my comment section asked me how, if they was doing their waterline wrong. Um, and I'm not too sure. I mean, this is how I always do my waterline and it's always worked out for me. So obviously if you do it like this, it shouldn't, shouldn't really go wrong and um, obviously if you do have watery eyes the only thing that I can say to do is just to go in 
come away, leave it for a bit, and then just go in and just keep repeating that until obviously your eyes don't water anymore. Um, you can also set these with shadow, um, but obviously just be careful with that. But yeah, that's just all that I do, and then I just leave it at that. Then just taking the base as usual, base shade two, no changes. So for my under eye, I'm gonna go back into the purple shade. I'm just gonna put that right on the inner corner. I'm gonna take that orange shade, which is called Lounge, and I'm taking it on a Peaches and Cream PC33. I'm just gonna put the orange right in, right in this inner corner here. What I could do with this brush is take a bit of the orange and a bit of the purple and just run it along just to deepen that. I might actually do that just to see what it goes like. Uh, I'm just gonna run it right along just to try and deepen the colour a little bit because it does look a little bit wishy-washy. And then I'm just gonna take a Morphe M562, no extra product at the minute. I'm just gonna start blending this purple down and then I'm gonna go back in with my peaches and cream brush and just really intensify this area. And there's the eye guys, I feel like it looks really good. I'm kind of obsessed with it, it looks it looks good, I'm impressed. So guys, I'm not going to do the other eye because if you ever go on Instagram and you ever see people, you know, with the hand like that, it's because they like, stuff like this takes quite a long time to do. I mean, this hasn't took me that long to do. Um, however, yeah, um, once you've done all your base and stuff, it takes quite a lot of your day. Um, so if you see people do this, it's that's why. Um, so I am going to go away, do my base makeup and my lashes, and I might be back to show you a little bit of that, but I just wanted to come and focus on the eye look. Um, and yeah, I'll be back in a sec. All right guys, so I've just quickly lined my lips with the P. Louise lip liner in the shade Standard, and now I'm taking the crisp finish base in the shade smoking hot and i'm just using that for my lips the paints are really amazing to use as lips and especially if you're using like a browny orangey shade like this mixing it with a deep brown um lip liner really looks really flattering and then i'm just taking like a sad like a kind of like a sad fluffy brush if that makes sense um, and I'm just blending the lip liner into the pin just to kind of get like an ombre effect All right guys, and that is it. So I'm sorry. It was a bit of a weird one today um, You know with my voiceovers and stuff and um, but yeah How do you like the eye? So obviously if you like I said if you don't know how this is supposed to look on Instagram because I have only done one eye Basically, I'll just cover my eye like that with my hand and, you know, just give a little cheeky pose like that. So, yeah, um, let me know what you think about the eye look in the comments below. Let me know what you want to see next. Um, as I've said, I have got a lot of um, ideas and content ready to film and stuff. So, it's all coming. So, make sure you are subscribed and the notification bell is on see everything and yeah i will see you in my next video guys